Hey, this is Don Kaufman over at Theo Trade, and what we are going to discuss in this video, if you're an engineer, if you're a math geek, if you're just a trading geek and you know it, raise your hand because what we're going to do, this quick video here, it's that expected move. But people have asked me for the better part of about 15 years, you're like, how do you guys solve for expected move, which is this, for instance, here on Facebook, here on Thinkorswim, this plus or minus six dollars and about 59 cents calculation. Like, how do you guys solve for that? Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you right now. Um, I haven't worked for Thinkorswim in about, uh, about a year. It's been about a year since I left TD Ameritrade. Uh, maybe by the time you're watching this, possibly longer. And there are certain things that uh, when leaving that firm, I promised I would take to the grave. So the expected move is a proprietary calculation. Oh, I'm just teasing you. No, really, it is a proprietary calculation. And uh, I don't want to end up in the Chicago River wearing cement boots the next time I go back to Chicago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a rough and dirty method for all of you math geeks out there of how expected move is actually derived. The most important thing, ladies and gentlemen, about the expected move, the $6.59, the way it works is ultimately it uses implied vol. So we're going to pull up implied volatility. Now, the expected move calculation that is derived on Thinkorswim does not use this 25 point one eight percent okay to ultimately surmise or you know come into the plus or minus six dollars and fifty nine cents okay doesn't actually use that it uses another proprietary calculation for implied volatility but the key is the implied volatility of individual options you look at like the 106 you know the uh the 105s here and these are your puts okay then we're gonna look at like the 107s the 108s now Here's what we're going to do for the rough and dirty calculation, if you will, for expected move. Okay. Again, expected move is derived specifically from the options within the chain and the options in the chain. Now, this 25.18, that particular volatility averages a ton of these way out of the money puts and these way out of the money calls. And then it, of course, comes together to 25.18. The expected move doesn't quite do that. And I'm not, again, I'm not going to get into the proprietariness of think or swim as they'll find me even here in Arizona. Yes, people from Chicago know where Arizona is. But uh, what I'd rather do is I'm going to give you the rough and dirty model so that if you ever wanted to back into this equation for some unknown reason, you can do it. So here's the quick and dirty methodology. Take two okay, of the out of the money puts. So in this case, like the 23.76, add it to 23.46. Then the two out of the money calls. So add these up. So that's like 23, 23. It's like, you know, 22.96. Add them up. And then, of course, just divide by four. So what does it come out to? You're like roughly, oh, I don't know, like 23 and change comes out to about 23. Like, I don't want to split hairs too much. This is 23.3. This is 23.46. Really, the average is somewhere around 23.3, 23.4. Fair enough. Okay. Now, here's where we get start to get into the, uh, the ultimate calculation. It's really not an ultimate calculation. Okay. To figure out the expected move, what you really need to do is take the, uh, the stock price. Okay, so what's stock price? 106.18. Okay, it's not too easy to draw with this tool. So 106.18. Okay, and then you're going to take that stock price, and I'm just going to make this as quick and dirty as possible. Multiply it by what? By the implied volatility. Now, the implied volatility we're going to use in this case is going to be somewhere right around what? We use point two, three, three, right? Fair enough. So you can do this 106 times, you know, 0.223 or 0.233 in this particular case, because that's the, uh, the average implied volatility of these two out of the money puts and these two out of the money calls. We're going to take that and we're going to, once again, we're going to multiply that. Here's the fun part by the, uh, 
the number of days remaining to expiration and please use calendar days just 34 okay and we're going to take the square root of that little monkey and divide it by the square root of 365 and ladies and gentlemen what you're going to come out with is going to be really close to the expected move found here on thinkorswim so that's just some of the mathematics behind something like expected move i know it's complete and total geekism but there really is a reason why i'm showing some of the expected move on here because it's a question i've gotten for years and the thing that i want to resonate with you it isn't about the equation not at all okay so stock price multiplied by the what okay by the implied volatility of the out of the money puts the out of the money calls times of course the square root of 34 which is the number of what trading days left till expiration divided by the square root of 365 which is the days in the year comes out to almost expected move and i'm sure that you could sit there and you could play around with your calculator all right and you can try to reverse engineer the true implied volatilities but the point is the most important thing in this equation it's right there it's the implied volatility it's the implied volatility that's used in the equation and the implied volatility is derived from none other than the option pricing itself so the real goal of going through this is to just get you to like you know hammer away that liquidity 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 and what do you mean liquidity the more people that are trading this product the more people that are making bids and making offers the more effective some of these expected moves become hence me even discussing the expected move in in the first place over here so you know when you get something that's loosely traded loosely traded kind of means like you know hey it trades you know mom and pop are trading it once in a while doing a covered call versus when you get something that's got you know just tens of thousands of contracts that are trading on it and you, you look at something like volume and open interest here of like facebook and there's tens of thousands of contracts 73,000 contracts trade of the dece 110 calls okay 43,000 contracts of those puts the more liquidity there is okay you know the more people that are really setting the market, if you will, or setting the implied volatility that, of course, are used in these expected moves. And again, the, the bigger picture is here that expected move becomes that much more of an effective tool in liquid markets. Trust expected move in extremely liquid markets. The expected move is 68.3% of all occurrences. It's a one standard deviation move. Okay, so we've gone through a little bit here theo trade on how the expected move is derived without of course having don end up in cement boots in the chicago river and we've talked a little bit about again liquidity okay liquidity really justifies expected move thanks a lot everybody for joining us here at theo trade